What is up, beautiful babies? Just got home from the gym. <sighs> House is still wrecked. It's still wrecked, but less wrecked. And the wreckage now has like little areas that it goes to. But another thing, why did I just say but? I don't know. Anyway, tired. Um, one thing that I just discovered about Vegas that nobody warns you for is this crazy wind. It is so, it was so windy last night. I didn't grow up with winds like this. Um, so they were so strong. Like here, I'll point it this way. Uh, that at night, when it would come through, it felt like it was an earthquake. Like I'm from California, so we get, uh, like I grew up with earthquakes, so I'm very familiar with them. And it's like those rumbling ones. So it, it sounded like a rumble from the ground and then it just kind of rose up like through the house and then it was like, <laughs> and then it started knocking all this shit down. But yeah, how come nobody told me that you guys have winds like this? This is crazy. Like, I'm so exaggerated and I'm such a big scaredy cat that I was like, holy shit, our windows are gonna get blown in because I've never grown up with this many fucking glass, like this much glass on my house. Like there's a shit ton of fucking windows. <sighs> but we made it, nothing broke. This was the only casualty here. Bart's favorite, like he loves this world. But, bro, are you kidding me? This is actually way more calm than it was last night. Let me tell ya, I was scared a little bit. Um, but I had Taika in my bed, so that was kind of cute because Papa went back to California to shoot uh, more JK News. And thank you guys for always asking if I'm gonna be back on JK News. I don't know. I'm doing this out here, raising my son, pushing my personal businesses forward. Um, I will be doing JK Party and JK News in two weeks. So, like, I'm like David now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just a special guest. So, yeah. That's why I stopped all that other stuff that I was doing because I really wanted to focus on being a mama and, you know, wrapping up my businesses and seeing what the next chapter holds. Like, now this is a new chapter. I'm in Las Vegas and let's see, you know, what's about to pop off. Like, um, we're going to revamp this channel. We're going to revamp our podcast and it's just going to be fucking lit and i'm revamping this body you know what i mean i'm getting strong again i'm competing in powerlifting barbell brigades powerlifting meets um in august so getting ready for that i always forget that i'm competing because i'm just so focused on just the day-to-day -day training but yeah that's what i'm doing okay anyway look at this house you guys ah <sighs> And the other reason why I'm not like so eager to put shit away so quickly and just organize everything is because we're getting this house. Um, hello, we're getting a, we have an interior designer who is gonna make my vision come to life. Uh, so for me to start decorating and putting things up on the wall, it's just useless because they're all just gonna come down because we're gonna paint these walls. We're gonna add some stone, like ugh, it's gonna be lit. Let me see if I can show you where are those sheets of paper? Okay, well, they're gone. Oh, maybe it's here. Let me show you kind of a vibe. These aren't, this is nothing compared to what we're trying to do, but it's just to kind of get an overall vibe and feel. And we're kind of moving in that direction. You already know that this is gonna be like 100% my vision because, wait, you'll see all the colors. Okay, so this is just an idea of a vibe that I want in the podcast room. This is like sound deadening, um, what is it? Like panels that we're gonna put on the wall, but they have, you know, patterns. This is it, the exact one, but just to kind of give you an idea that the wall is just not gonna be plain. That's like another idea. Lamp, table, tapestry, or even, you know, wallpaper. But essentially these types of colors is what I want. Maybe a neon sign. Yeah, so this is just like a mood board. Hey, what are you doing? Hello, monkey. We lost him in the in the chaos. Hello, monkey, I'm talking to you. Monkey, talk to me. For a second, I thought I was like a ghost or something and like I died and nobody knew I was dead. I didn't even know I was dead, that's what it felt like. But anyway, yeah. I love these chairs.
scares you guys. Can you imagine having these like no! over there no! in our room somewhere? <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, today. What am I doing today? I'm gonna keep unpacking. Um, the goal is to at least have my makeup and stuff all set up. I don't have space for any of that, so I think I'm gonna go to like Home Goods and see if I can find like trays or something so I can start taking shit off the floor more. I'll show you guys. It's it's a fucking mess. But first, gotta go to Marshalls, find more clothes that fits this kid. Cause look, monkey dude, yeah. come here. Let me see your clothes. These shorts are three T, and he's no, 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 wearing no, five no. T, if not extra small already. Come back here. Yeah. So we're running low on clothes here for my duty. Like a, yeah. No. All right, duty. What do you got in your hand? You got candy? Yeah, toilet paper candy. Toilet paper candy? Why is it toilet paper candy? Because it, it belongs in the pantry. What do you mean? Toilet paper doesn't belong in the pantry. Pantry is just for food. You need help opening it? <sighs> it smells yummy. You guys, look at this guy. He's so big now. <laughs> Wow. So tall. Oh, I'm it. Mm. Okay. Just don't eat the plastic, okay? Taika, I've been doing this new thing with him because we're always on his ass to eat and I hate it. Because you'd rather be doing other stuff than eating and I understand because I could care less about eating too. But I know it's a necessary part of life, so I force myself to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I got that excited for the freaking fruit. Ah! Right? <laughs> is it yummy? <laughs> um, so this week what I started doing is I'm like, okay, Taika needs to understand understand that there's always um, there's just the results due to his decisions. There's consequences and okay. Uh, so this week I just stopped I stopped uh, hounding him to eat and I said hey you know what we're all gonna eat uh, if you're not finished by this time then that's it you can't have milk afterwards you can't have any snacks nothing like we just have to focus on eating so the first day was rough the second day meaning yesterday um, he didn't finish his dinner at all he probably had like two spoonfuls and then late at night, he wanted his milk and then he wanted snacks. And I said, sorry, dude, remember I told you, you have to eat your food. So then um, he goes, okay, I'm ready to eat. And then I made him like a quick little sandwich and um, he ate the whole thing. It's so good. And then this morning you woke up and you had a lot of, you had like yummy cereal and you had just different breakfast food and he ate it all by himself. I didn't have to hound him. That's why Teddy can have snacks now. Yeah. It's like a giant pizza. A giant pizza? You're eating a pizza? A pizza candy? No, like jelly pizza. Jelly. Oh, jelly pizza, I see. And then this mm. will be my snack right now. Creating mm. some. Yeah, these pizza. are awesome. Not sponsored, but Mama? these are really, really awesome. Mama? Grab them if you're trying to lower your calories. These are cheese chips. Oh, yeah. I want water, dude. Okay, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, it's okay. You eat. You eat. It's okay. Thank you. First stop, Marshall. And this duty wants me to carry him. He's so damn heavy. Okay. And Bonnie. Taika in his natural. No, no, no. Just one. No. Nope. Put it back. Only one ball? Yeah, only one toy. And you're like, I'm even giving you a toy. So Taika's in his natural habitat right now. I want this. Okay, so which one? Are you going to get the ball or are you going to get the gardening? The gardening. Okay, let's put the ball back then. It's on the Good. grass. Put it back. Okay. A bunch of clothes. He lives in these shorts. And these are only eight dollars, and they're cookies. Look at that. And then these come in sets. Look at this. Ten bucks. So it's five dollars each one. This is eleven bucks. Puma, but it's super lightweight. Got a bunch of these. Nike. Nike. Yep, so he's got clothes for the summertime. Because he's already outgrown everything. Case in point. Back home now, and this is one of the pieces we got for Taika. Let me see. This together um, was 15 bucks. But the material on this is so thin. I love it. It's that um, dry fit, moisture working material. So. Mama, mama. 
Yeah, and he got this gardening kit. So we got him. Things gonna be great. And I'll show you all the other pieces I got him. Okay, well, then kind of. So for six ninety nine, got him a new hat. All right, these guys were a little bit pricier. These are thirty bucks, but they're name brand Puma. They're slip ons, and the amount of rubber reinforcement around these, I feel like they're sort of indestructible for the way he likes to play. And they're super grippy on the bottom. All right, and these are all the other pieces I got him. He's currently wearing about 4T and that fits him like too perfectly. So I went two sizes up and I got him a 6T, so, or a six. He's not, in tees. he's not in tees anymore. He's actually wearing actual sizes. So five, six is the equivalent of like an extra small, small. Um, so yeah, got him this 15 bucks, but it was a pair. I think these are like the wrong ones, but wait, I think it was like, I think it's this. With this one. Oh, it just got tangled. There we go. Yeah. So these two together was 15 bucks. And I don't really care about the name brand stuff. Like, I really don't. However, it's name brand for a reason, right? Like, it's not just the hype. Nike especially has, you know, outlasted the test of time and it's still around. And they just make really high quality clothing. Um, and so, I mean, so I just, I wanted to focus on that for him. Okay, this one is a set also, Nike. We got the shorts and we got the shirt. Also 15 bucks. Got him this for 15 bucks. And it comes with a short. So it's a set. So it's about like six, seven, seven fifty a piece. Like that is not bad. Another one, 15 bucks. And it comes with the shorts. This one was. This one feels really, really soft. I wish you guys could feel this. Oh, this one's 11 bucks, even cheaper. And it comes with the sets. Like I got him regular like going out clothes. And I just kind of like let the play clothes, which I mean, these are some really nice play clothes. Um, I just kind of let him grow out of those. This one is 15 bucks. This is one of my favorite shirts, specifically the color, because I can't lose this little mofo. He's so fast. Look at how cool these shorts are. Yeah, also $15. Yeah, he's also outgrown his socks. Want to get him some tube socks? These, it's a set of three socks. Five bucks, Nike. This one, five bucks. Nike and it comes with three. I guess it's a little expensive, however, fucking swag. So I'll pay five bucks, it was worth it. And then some little, little profile socks. These were five bucks, but this comes with how many? One, two, three, four, five pairs. A dollar a pair. Yeah, so I showed you the hat. Yeah, that's so, I got Taika some uh, play clothes. Got this. I saw it and I'm like, I gotta get it. I think I wanna put it around the edge of the TV. It'd be really, really cool. Like if we're watching a movie and it just starts lighting up. So I got two of these, 10 bucks each. That's the crazy thing about um, Marshalls. It's like, you can't, like I can't tell you guys to go get it right now because it just might not be there for you because it's, you know, these are things that are, um, I guess that they had an abundance of or they like it's out of season or they didn't sell a lot of. So that's why they're selling it at these discount stores so that they don't lose all their money on this product. Um, for myself, I got this. It's a, oops. it's a little case, but it's so cute. Oh my God, sorry. See that? And then I got me some socks. How much are these? Six bucks. Some really cool high tube socks. Some conditioner shampoo. And then, so I can let my curls. And that was kind of my haul. That's my Marshalls haul. So if you're trying to buy some cute stuff for your kids and don't want to break the bank, Marshalls is the way to go. Um, specifically for the girls section, there's so much 
clothing the girl like clothing in the girls section the guy section or the little boy section not so much but hey i got play clothes for him and then for his non-play clothes i tend to go to target for the other one target is kind of pricey but i love the cat and jack um brand that's only exclusive to target so that's why i stick with them all right let's see what i'm doing next all right so i installed it how cute is this There it is. Super cute. Spent like a good 10 minutes cutting off all these stupid tags here. Look. Look at how long this crap is. I don't remember growing up and having this shit so long. God. Alright, I'm craving fruit and frozen yogurt. Holy crap, look at this. Oh, right. As soon as I zoomed in, the air stopped. But it's been like this all dang day. Vegas, what is going on? What is this? Anyway, yeah, craving food, yes. What are you eating? Okay. Ooh, let's see, open your mouth. There they are. So I'm gonna make some, just like a little snack, with some fruits and some Greek yogurt. And I was just telling my mom this, but I feel like every time I order produce, from Instacart, I swear it's like Instacart and the grocery store in cahoots. And it's like, hey, all of our crappy produce, make sure that your Instacart people send those to the family. Cause look at this. I just got this stuff yesterday. It's like they buy the worst. Hold on, these no, are dirty. I want some. You want some? Okay. okay. Uh, it's like they picked the worst ones. One time I got salad. Like a bag of salad because I was hosting like a little get together from Costco and the salad was all brown. And I'm like, do they not look at this stuff? That's why it makes me think these are dirty. Mom, I, 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 I know I'm gonna give it to you, but careful, there's a knife here too. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, that I'm like, you didn't see that the greens were browns? Hello, do you not eat lettuce? Maybe you don't eat lettuce, but yeah. Just my theory. Pay attention and let me know. <laughs> he's been wearing his hat backwards like this because he's been watching Little Rascals, the 1990s one. And um, this is how the bad kid, of course he would relate to the bad kid. That's how he wears his. <laughs> Here it is, the final product. Unsweetened Greek yogurt. I cut up some strawberries, some raspberries, blueberries, and I added, I thought I had granola, but I don't. Lucky for me, I have um, honey bunches of oats, which has granola chunks in there. So I just added a handful of cereal. And ta-da, we have ourselves a healthy snack. Oh, and I forgot I added honey. Um, I would say add honey or agave. Both of those are really, really good. All right, snack number two time. These things are wild. Hold on, let me show you. Let's go into this jungle here. Okay? There we go. Okay, let's see. All I have as a point of reference are my neighbors. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. He's gonna show me. He's gonna show me. Oh my God, it's just zooming in on me. Doesn't sound that bad, but wait for it. Dang it, it's not doing it. And the thing is, tomorrow is trash day, and I'm scared to put my trash cans outside because I can already imagine how nuts it's gonna be, and like all the trash that's gonna be all over the floor. Hmm. Nah. You guys get no. Look at all that trash. That the wind blew. Oh, Jesus. It's just zooming in on my reflection. All right, never mind. I have Tyke over here. He requested white rice with ponzu. Literally, no nutrition. <laughs> but he's eating. 
And he's eating on his own. So F it. Go on. Let's see. You want to show me now? Anything? 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 Yes, baby? What's flying? Oh, look at that. I was able to clean my table. Look at that. I did one thing. Oh, there's a fly in here? We're making progress, fam. <laughs> you know? What, baby? That's a fly. Oh, no. no. Who do we have here? This the one and only. This handsome fellow. Handsome Bar Kwan. Straight from California. Imported goods. Oh, yeah. I'm in California right now. Yeah. You're my mom's my mom's house. I know. This is the mama sheets. For sure, you could totally tell. Whoa, yeah. the wind sounds nuts. Whoa, 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 look at that. Holy crap. Whoa, we got all this trash floating outside her. Oh my god, that's probably someone's trash that fell. Oh my god. That is nuts. It's going nuts over here. You know what's cool is that we don't have our landscaping done and we're going through this. So yeah. when we meet with our like pool guy and our landscaper, we can be like, can we have something that's not gonna blow away by the wind? I know. Cause like, the last thing I would want is to have like these baby trees. You remember some of the baby trees in our LA house got like, blo like blown halfway over? No. Yeah, like some of them had to get recorrected. Like little baby. Oh yeah, tree. yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Yeah, some Blown halfway over. It sounds like thunder. That's how strong this wind is. Wow. Yeah. You're not missing out. It's kind of scurry. I'd rather be back over there. Me too. Mm. Hey.